back ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to minecraft story mode so we are continuing on with the final episode a journey's end this is gonna be it this is gonna be the finale i can't believe it we're here previously on minecraft story mode if these builders truly existed and if you found their temple that means we're one step closer so That's This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. <laughs> What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How what? is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Um. Adventure? <laughs> Adventure? No! Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? you okay guys not sure what's up there but whatever it is we all need to stick together got it yeah we've got your back Jesse good oh you're good. <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place what still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices very odd to be back wait you're from here uh-huh what's the big deal it's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time, and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Whoa. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. What are you hiding from us now, Harper? Nothing. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. Just, the others might not be 100% happy to see me. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Are you joking? You think you're nice? Yeah, I don't know if you remember the whole Pama thing, but, uh... Hey, I had good intentions with that, all right? No. Don't make me regret helping you. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of? The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. Oh, great, perfect. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not going to let us down, right? I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be... complications. What kind of... complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're going to get that atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. You just gotta go through there. A door? Like a regular door. Time to step through and find out. Something's off. Ah! 
very what? bright. I can't see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die. What? Oh. TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I th And now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? You killed one of my best friends. I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. Whoa! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. My friends are dead. You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on. Jeez, how petty are you? Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Oh, well, if that isn't the cutest little threat I've ever heard... Are you people crazy? People are dying out here, and you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. But I saw them die. How are they alive? Oh, 
I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! No, oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gatecrasher. And what do we do with gatecrashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Chip, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning, you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? She must be joking, Hadrian. Joking! Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope. Not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not a game. What about huh? this? I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off of that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can oh. be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals, I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. I don't play that way, Hadrian. If I can't have the Atlas, you can't have the Redstone Heart. Yeah. Come on, gang. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, wait. Well, hey, well, wait, wait, wait. I'm I'm sure we could reach an agreement that suits everyone. Yeah? Okay. Well, kiddo, I admit, you do drive a hard bargain. That I know. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of something fair for the both of us. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. You seem suspicious. And I completely understand. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Mm-hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official addendum. Oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, 
Want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Parker, how bad is this gonna be? Give it to me straight. It's not gonna be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Ugh. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. Perfect. This is gonna be a tough one. We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Whoa. Well, here it is. The competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Not bad, not bad. Not too shabby. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. They're just stuck here, unable to leave. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Yeah? Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We will get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines, quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Mm -hmm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so this is gonna be it for this episode. And until the next episode, I guess I'll see you later. And until then, bye-bye and enjoy this episode. Bye-bye.